The bicycle. All across America, there's a renewed interest in bicycling as a means of transportation. The pedestrian. For many, walking is the best transportation option. Providing safe bike lanes and pedestrian pathways? That's where we come in. We're the Federal Highway Administration, but we're not just about highways. We work closely with state and local partners to conduct research, publish guides, manage field studies, share noteworthy designs, and develop tools that lead to safer biking and walking facilities. As America's transportation network becomes more diverse, our goal is to increase connectivity and provide safe options for people of all ages and abilities so that those who rely on public transportation or prefer to walk or bike have as many choices as those who get around in cars. I think a walkable community is a place where people want to live. And quality of life is definitely related to the number of ways you have for getting around. Biking and walking are among the best and most affordable. I've been biking uh, as a commute choice for about 10 years. I found it to be much more affordable and healthy to bike. Providing walking and biking options is not enough. Making sure these alternatives are safe is the Federal Highway Administration's top priority. Take the Haxton Way footpath. The Federal Highway Administration provided guidance and funds to help get Haxton Way built. Located on Lummi Nation lands in Washington State and nestled between a major employer and a residential area, the footpath separates pedestrians from heavy vehicle traffic and saves lives. And with overhead solar-powered LED lighting, the path provides a much safer walking and biking environment, even during evening and early morning hours. Safety is one of my top priorities, so I really appreciate how the town that I live in provides me with safe choices in transportation. I like to walk and I can get pretty much anywhere on a bike, so I'm thrilled with the attention that these transportation choices are getting. The Federal Highway Administration identifies noteworthy design practices, publishes standards, and shares laudable examples of safe transportation infrastructure with cities, state departments of transportation, and the public like Washington, D.C.'s 15th Street Corridor. 15th Street in Washington, D.C. is an example of how to make urban transportation work better for everyone. It now has two lanes for bikes, sidewalks on both sides, three car lanes, and on-street parking. The car parking creates a protective barrier between the cyclists and motorists, and the redesign gives each road user their own dedicated space, and this makes it safer for everyone. Another example? The Polk Street Contraflow Bikeway. San Francisco's Polk Street Contraflow bike lane is a noteworthy design because it enables two-way bike traffic on a one-way street. And this creates a safer, more convenient bicycling network. This design also benefits people driving and people who are walking because it creates more predictable bike movement due to that designated space. What I really like about this design is a landscape curb between vehicular traffic and bicyclists. It does a lot to improve safety and comfort. At the Federal Highway Administration, safety is our top priority. It's what guides us and directs us. We identify noteworthy design practices and help our partners plan, design, and implement safer and better connected networks of sidewalks, bike lanes, footpaths, and other facilities to improve our transportation system for people of all ages and abilities. This is how the Federal Highway Administration works. You can find out more about the Federal Highway Administration on the web at www.fhwa.dot.gov. You can also join the conversation on our social media channels. The Federal Highway Administration, making sure the roads and bridges you drive on will get you wherever you're going as safely as possible.